welcome to another video I decided to do this extra video for you showing some uh, very beautiful picture books I got in the past few months or so and I thought they all had some similar um, things that caught my eye and would be nice to show uh, to you. I noticed that people seem to really enjoy the book videos that I do so I thought it was already maybe time to share another uh, batch of books that inspired me but before that I'd like to introduce you to my new studio mascot his name is Steve Steve Siegel <laughs> I just finished him uh, this week it's an Amiga Rumi and I follow a free pattern online I'm gonna leave a link below if you're interested in trying yourself so I'm gonna leave Stevie, Stevie here on the side and I'm gonna share these beautiful books but before that I would like to first of all thank everyone that has been um, following me here um, leaving me your comments liking the content all of that I really appreciate and I'll take the time also to ask if you like the type of content I have here and you haven't subscribed yet please consider doing so this will really help my channel to grow so let's start I have here three books to share with you today and only one of them is in English but I'll do my best to see if there are English versions available of all these books even though what caught my eye in these books first of all were the illustrations they these are picture books I got them from the children's uh, section in different bookstores and I always love to browse um, the children books the picture book section and if I see something that catches my eye I have to buy it so the first one is called Semi this is uh, in Italian let me try to arrange here in a better way so so I bought this in Italy but um, the original one was written in Spanish I believe uh, these are the author's names Jose Ramon Alonso and Marco Pasqueta let me check here so and yes Jose Ramon is the author and then Marco Pasqueta is the illustrator so Marco is Italian and Jose is I believe Spanish he's a teacher in Salamanca University and this was first published in 2018 in Spanish that's right so here you have the website I'm gonna leave also and I'm editing here the website if you want to check and I found this book really adorable sorry Stevie so this is um, a kind of an instructional book for kids about the cycle of seeds semi is seed in Italian and I first got interested because of the illustrations they are so beautiful look at this they have this very um, how can I say traditional art look I'm not sure if it was done traditionally or digitally nowadays there are so many different brushes you can use with digital art that's hard to to figure sometimes but yeah it has this very uh, textural look that i really love and i would like to try better to apply to my own artwork this type of texture i had shown this previously in some illustrations also in a picture book called the land of never believe by normal messengers messenger <laughs> it was I believe my first book video here I'm gonna leave a card up here if you're interested and you haven't checked that out yet so they have similar uh, illustrations in this book and it has beautiful double paged illustrations look at this and then um, it tells the cycle of uh, seeds and different types of seeds so here you have like 
palm corn and apple and look at the colors the colors were just gorgeous when i saw these i was like i got it for the illustrations basically but when i sat to read it i really enjoyed reading it also there was a lot of good information so this is a picture book it's in the kids section but it i would say this is for like the older kids because there's a lot of information here you see here they talk about the heaviest seed there is the um, sea coconut seed that i was not aware and um, it's beautiful the these textures like watercolors they're called pencils on the top look at this i really love this effect of texture on top of these very light colors it's something i would love to apply to my own artwork artwork <coughs> excuse me i'm a bit uh, my voice is a bit uh, coarse i don't know why but um yeah so has beautiful illustrations lots of good info as well i mean when i was a kid i would have loved to learn in this way rather than just reading out of science books this is the one that is in the cover you can see here i love also the color palette it's so warm and when i saw this um double page spread that's when i decided to get the book because i really really love this illustration i hope you can appreciate uh in the video how how beautiful the illustrations are and there's many of them look at this germinating So you have a good balance between um, information and uh, kind of this more illustrative, um, engaging uh, illustrations, tells a story. Now talk about the experiments if you want to try. Look at this. Trying to germinate on the paper. hydroponic um, cultivation and that's the last illustration of the book with these two birds over here look how nice it is so i really enjoyed this book and um, i would recommend to anyone even if you don't speak italian or spanish just the illustrations i find them very very inspiring now the next one uh, that I'm sharing for you is Time for a Bed Miyuki. This is in English. And let me check here. Uh, this also has beautiful illustrations, a lot of texture. There's a lot. This I'm sure wasn't um, heavily um, with traditional art because there is this colored pencil uh, texture. I mean, I could always be wrong, but. Um, it looks really uh, like something done traditionally and this was first published in 2017 in paris in french and there's more books of this collection of um, yuki i got this one but all of them have beautiful illustrations in the future i may consider getting <laughs> the other ones in the series and the text is by Roxanne Marie Galliès and the illustrations by I don't know how to pronounce this name so I, I won't even try but that's the illustrator's name and published by Princeton Architectural Press New York and it has this story of this girl Miyuki that doesn't want to go to bed because there are so many beautiful things that she wants to do before she goes to sleep and she's having this uh, conversation with her 
um, grandpa and it has all of these super beautiful illustrations that it looks like handmade like I said a mixture between watercolor and colored pencil and I really love I love the patterns these are all like Japanese patterns that you would see a lot in uh, textiles kimonos and um, ceramics and um, basically it's very traditional Japanese patterns I liked so much the use of patterns in this book I wanted to try and find a kind of a source book where I could see these patterns and their names and the traditional colors used with it but uh, I couldn't find something on the lines of what I was thinking of to use as a sort of um, reference but yeah really beautiful work and the story also is very nice and heartfelt here's the grandpa with Miyuki and it's very colorful and I like that it's a mix between a lot of color and white negative space this is also something I'd like to explore look at this how beautiful and these books are quite big if you can see my hands here look at this how lovely she's knitting a blanket for the cat <laughs> here are some mushrooms <coughs> and I really love also doing this in my artwork using patterns to cover some subjects I find it really um, fun to do and it I don't know patterns is something that always catch catch my eyes so yeah it's a really lovely book and I love the color palettes as well I mean if you watched my other videos with my favorites in the watercolor series and all you'll see like you have here teal turquoise yellow bright red that's basically my favorite color palette so no wonder I got attracted by the book it's really beautiful love the little birds this remind me of um, Metsuo's uh, birds look at this how many beautiful patterns you have here I hope you can still see well there's a big cloud now over my window but um, yeah it's a really lovely <coughs> eye candy of a book you have here the little origami look at this that's why I said it really looks like something done um, with colored pencils you see the texture over here as well and I love to use colored pencils this way to keep this texture showing I find that it, it looks very tactile and I don't know it has something out of childhood and memories of using colored pencils and yeah that's the end of the book so here you have also the other in the series you have thank you Miyuki and you have patience Miyuki as well very beautiful book before I go to the last book of this tree that I'm gonna show today I'm gonna just take a sip of water so <laughs> maybe it won't be so hard for me to talk and for you to listen to my uh, raspy voice and I'll come back soon so I'm back I hope my voice is a bit better now and this is the last book in the series these books are very big so I had to zoom out a little bit so you can see better and this is another Italian book. This is called Venditore di Felicità or The Happiness Seller. And this was by David De Cali and Marco Soma. This I remember checking in the past uh, to see if there were English versions available. Sorry, I just knocked the camera while I was moving my things here. But um, <coughs> I was saying that I had tried, uh, tried uh, finding this book online at the time 
to see if there were English versions and I couldn't find a lot of info. I'm gonna check again when I'll be editing the video and if I see an English version or if I find it for sale online, I'm gonna leave a link here below. I found this in a small bookshop in Italy and I really loved it. The illustrations are also very beautiful and it also has this kind of heartfelt message that I love. And um, yes, look at this, how beautiful this is, um, the bird's house. This, uh, I think the information is, ah, it's over here. So first edition was 2018 and yeah. Edizione SLL Padova, Italy. So yeah, there's this little bird. The story is about this uh, bird that um, it's a happiness seller. So you here you can see here the little truck where he sells his um, bottles of happiness. And yeah, it's so beautiful. And he goes visiting all the clients. So you have here in in this tree where there's the f a family of mice that he visits. And look at these illustrations, how they are beautiful. I love all the textures. And same as the other books, it has this kind of colored pencil, um, noisy texture. Um, the Milky book was a more about colored pencil, but I have the impression that the three books, they look a bit like what you would make uh, using a very uh, diluted, uh, layer of watercolor and then covering with the texture of colored pencil and I really love this approach to illustration I said already many times in the video and I'll say it again I really want to explore more this type of techniques because I find them really um, how can I say warm and textural and it kind of give this vintage look and character um i don't know i find that um i have a lot of uh, styles that i particularly interested in but this type of illustrations with very um textural elements really really are dear to me so every time i see a book with this type of illustrations i have to buy it <laughs> So yeah, you see, you can see um, they, he's uh, selling to the family of quails here in the street, in this um, tree. And oh, it's so beautiful. And I love the style of the illustrations as well. Look at this. So this is a birdhouse and it looks like a huge bird. And there's all these flowers and these details. Isn't it amazing? You can see even the little clothes here and the little envelope on the um, hanging um, wire here. Ah, it's uh, all the letters. Look at this cloud. It's so creative and so beautiful. And there's not a lot of text. So even if you uh, don't speak Italian or don't read in Italian, you could always um, very easily translate using uh, the Google Translate app. I know it sounds like a lot of work, but believe me, I have books in Japanese that I do the same. I don't speak Japanese, I don't read Japanese at all, but if something catches my eye, I, I, I don't let <laughs> I don't let language barriers stop me. Most of all, if there's a lot of illustrations like this. So yeah, it's a very, um, very beautiful book. Look at all this um, leaves and the garland over here, the little birds. And I also love how they draw the birds with this type of anthropomorphic uh, style where they have clothes and they have arms and legs and shoes. That's also something that I really love doing. I have a sketchbook where I did a series of animals with clothes. I posted some of them to my Instagram, but I haven't finished the sketchbook yet. It's been more than a year that I started, but when I do, I'm gonna share it here so you can have a look. 
and yeah it's really lovely book also this type of um, old style traditional illustration look at this it's a sweet shop and also in this book there's a very lovely warm palette you can see that all of um, the illustrations have this kind of um, earth tones this type of old uh, paper colors you see it's uh, really cohesive as a whole they all have this kind of um, tone even in the background you see and I don't remember now the whole story but I remember that was a really lovely message it was a really like um, emotional uh, type of story so a bit like um, the stories in Oliver Jeffers books mm. so always this heartfelt message uh, in the background so yeah look at this how lovely the little bird with the hat You can see that I, I'm really, um, I'm really excited by this uh, lovely, lovely books. And yeah, this is the last page. You can see here. Look how beautiful. Yeah. And here in the end, you have this message: "Ormai si vende quasi a cosa," which means now everything is for sale, basically. Uh, everything is being sold all types of things and uh, yeah he was selling happiness in jars it's a very beautiful book so here you have three more books of my stash of inspiring picture books using uh, the traditional techniques I really hope you liked this video it was shorter than my usual videos but I found that there was a lovely group of books to show to you together and I have much much more that I can share in future videos. If there's anything you would like to see you haven't seen yet on the channel please let me know. I'm always open to suggestions. I love reading your comments so please comment away if you've seen these books already. If you have indications of books as well that you think I would like. I love finding out new authors. And I hope to see you soon here. Bye!